Okay, here we are. Uh, the teams are on the field. We have a lot of damage coming out here, it looks like. Uh, let's see what we have. Absolutely, and apologies in advance for pulling you guys away from Amamaki Cam on the Osaga Gate, which was awesome, but we have one of my most anticipated matches of this half of the day. Uh, Dead Terrorists versus the Tusker Bastards. Both teams fielding 100 points. Um, on the field for Dead Terrorists, we have a Proteus, a Damnation, two Daredevils, two Macarials, a Purifier, and two Hounds. And on the field for the Tusker Bas or Bastards, we have three Drakes, uh, two Hurricanes, a Cyclone, two, three Dramiels, and a Scimitar. And we have just been given them in a countdown on a local from CCP Clone. The uh, match is now underway. Um, we can see there the Dead Terrorists have brought their whole gang in, in a, just a big blob off the top of the beacon. Um, we've also got... Um, the um, Tusker Bastards team very uh, widely spread out. Their uh, their two Dramiels way out at the back of the field, uh, keep them well out of range. Yeah, and we have a lot of missiles out. The uh, uh, stealth bombers for the um, uh, dead terrorists uh, shooting torpedoes at ships. Uh, those drones that are out are ECM drones uh, for the Tusker Bastards. We also have. Um, a group of Guard 2s out for the Dead Terrorists as well. Um, Guard 2s, of course, being the Tech 2 variant of the Sentry Drones. I uh, can see there straight away, um, wow, one of the uh, one of the Cyclone, or the only Cyclone, rather, for the Tusker Bastards, heavily under structure. We've just lost him. Yes, Don Pellegrino is dead, my friends. Uh, and they've switched to a Dramio rather quickly. Uh, that's going to die very fast. And I suspect we're going to get what I rather enjoy, which is a nice, hard, heavy, and fast match. Yep, absolutely. It's always good to see people get pounded in submission fairly quickly. I always prefer these matches um, over the long, drawn-out ones where there's, you know, where there's lots of flying around and lots of ridiculous Benny Hill-style stuff towards the edge of the arena. But yeah, we've got a Hurricane as well for the Tusker Bastards. Already hitting structure. Um, looks as if we're going to lose him pretty quick. Um, Scimitar Pilot just not able to keep up with the amount of DPS they're putting out from these Macarials, I think. Yeah, we do have a Macario hitting armor, but um, it looks like uh, their, their DPS is getting taken out uh, pretty fast. Um, I, I, it is worth noting that the only thing I enjoy more than spaceships is exploding spaceships. I completely agree. Exploding spaceships are, of course, the way forward, especially in the tournament when the idea is actually to kill the people that you're up against. Explosions generally tend to mean death, and this is a good thing. Um, we can see there the... Um, the Tusker Bastards have actually turned their guns on a couple of the stealth bombers, the two hounds of the dead terrorists, looking to try and get those off the field and to get their DPS. Yes, but they're not able to really do anything against it. Uh, they're, they're repped back up pretty quickly. Uh, and we're going to see the dead terrorists start chewing into something else, and they have chosen that hurricane uh, uh, to pick on. Yep, it is looking like... Um, wow. It definitely is looking like the uh, we're going to lose a... That hurricane, it looks as if we, yep, we just lost the hurricane. It looks as if we're going to lose a stealth bomber as well for dead terrorists. They're a purifier down. It's interesting to note that um, it looks as if these Macarials uh, may actually be remote sensor boosting each other and run an ECM to try and uh, keep above any dampen that may be going on. Yes, indeed, and they've switched to another uh, of the stealth bombers uh, for dead terrorists, who is still keeping wrapped up. We'll see if he lasts a little longer than the other one. On the Tusker Bastard side, uh, it looks like a Drake that's going down. It's now entering about 25% shields, which uh, you can see, uh, and it's going to die. Yeah, the Proteus there of dead terrorists, um, wow, absolutely just swore completely and not at least swarmed with drones, but it doesn't really seem to look as if they're having a really huge effect on it. Um, both of those hounds being kept alive quite consistently. The uh, logistics pilot uh, obviously has his, um, has his, uh, his head together. Yeah, one thing worth noting is that uh, uh, the, uh, the Tusker Bastards do have a lot of ECM drones on them. Um, so I, I, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say that's why their DPS is uh, less than um, wonderful. Yep. It's, um, well, it's looking very promising for, uh, for dead terrorists, that's for sure. Um, their Macarials are pretty much unchallenged at this point. Um, again, it looks, um, if I can zoom in and have a quick peek at them, it appears that they, um, yep, they're fielding 800mm repeating artillery, um, commonly as what we've seen uh, 
throughout the tournament, most uh, most of the Mac pilots doing exactly the same, using exactly the same turrets, purely because of the sheer amount of DPS they'll put out and the immense fall off they provide being an auto cannon. Yeah, the tournament is a, a, a copycat game. You will see a lot of people using um, setups that have been successful before, um, for obvious reasons, because those setups have been successful. Absolutely, and successful setups is, of course, what it is all about. Uh, we can see there as well the um, the Macarials, um Looks as if, yeah, it looks as if we've got a little bit of NOS, a cap transfer going on between them, the Macarials and the Proteus. And the Tusker Bastards are about to lose another Drake. Here. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think it's... Gone. It's pretty much just a matter of time for them now. It's unfortunate because I I, I actually have a few friends uh, in the Tuskers, um, and they're a great group of guys. Um, but unfortunately, it looks as if they just haven't got what it takes to uh, to beat this setup. Are they Scottish as well? There, some of them may or may not um, be Scottish. These are, uh, un of course, unfounded allegations that we cannot confirm at this time. But I do believe that if they are Scottish, they will be able to tell you what the weather is like in Scotland. So you should probably email one of them and ask. Excellent. Uh, yeah, Drake for the Tusker Bastards. It's 50% uh, armor. Uh, or shields. I'm dumb. And, uh, this is going to be one for the record books. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, the dead terrorists are going to win this one. Ah, without a doubt. Um, I think it's just it's it's a matter of time before this last Drake is gone. Um, Daredevil's doing an excellent support with uh, an excellent job, rather, with anti-drone support. Um, Scimitar pilot for... Um, for the Tusker Bastards has been on the ball in like the last match. He just I uh, don't just don't think he has had enough uh, enough stem power to actually keep these guys alive. I mean, there's a lot of DPS from those two Macarials. Um, they've got a really long fall off, so they don't really need to. Uh, they're not re they don't really suffer that much from range dictation by another team. Um, then you've got Proteus, which is going to be putting out a hell of a lot of DPS just on its own. So. It's, um, yeah, I think it's just been a case of this poor scimitar pilot's been a little bit out of his depth, which is, you know, it happens now and again. One thing that's interesting to note is that Drake seems to still be alive. I'm not quite sure why, but it's going, oh, because they decided to focus on the scimitar pilot. Um, and while the match is quiet, actually, Darius, I've just had unconfirmed reports that it was raining earlier in Scotland, uh, but now it's just dull a little bit overcast, but um, it's, um, yeah, it looks as if it's going to rain again soon, so um, just to keep you updated on that, mate, because you you seem to be very concerned about the, uh, the weather in Scotland. Yeah, that's what windows are for. I think someday I might visit. They've gone ahead and switched back to that Tusker Bastard's Drake. Uh, that's going to fall pretty quickly. Um... Uh, Dead Terror is doing it right. One of the things that you try to do when you come to a tournament is win, um, and they seem to have been able to pull that off. Yeah, but looks as if it's just a matter of mopping up this last Dramiel from the Tusker Bastards team, unfortunately, and they're going to be out of contention. Um, I would have liked to have seen them go a lot further, to be honest. Like I said, I've, I've got a few friends in, uh, in the Tuskers. They're a very good pi uh, pirate corp. Uh, we clash... Uh, clash with them quite often in Sinclair's on so they do have what it takes and they're a good group of PvP as it just looks as if they they haven't been able to uh, different what was needed to beat dead terrorists in this match unfortunately that is correct the dead terrorists is still very much alive in this particular tournament um, and now we're doing the uh, patented uh, loot the field while things fly around in circles and, um, yeah, while this Dramiel is doing the Benny Hill thing, um, I'm actually receiving another update about the meteorological state of uh, Scotland. I'm now being smack-talked, apparently, by, um, by a friend of one of our experts, saying that it is 20 degrees and sunny in Scotland in certain areas. However, there are, of course, some um, quite severe dark clouds over Glasgow. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, it's looking good for you if you want to uh, visit Scotland soon. Can you do me a favour? What is 20 degrees in real temperature? Um, I have absolutely no idea because I don't use your crazy American system of temperature. But if someone wants to uh, to let us know what that is, um, then they can more than feel free to do so. Dramiel, last Dramiel now for uh, the Tusker Bastards. Half armor and down and out. So that's the dead terrorists uh, have taken the match and we can pass back to Soundwave. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, dead terrorists winning this one. Uh, we have a match coming up at 1700E. That's in about 10 minutes. 
it is unaffiliated versus uh, important internet spaceship league we'll be right back